Alright, what's good YouTube? We're back again. It's your boy Lil Dirty Vert. Hope you all uh, hope you guys been doing good and everything like that. Today is uh Tuesday the uh, 16th. Yeah. Tuesday the 16th. Um you see the title of the video, you already know what we're doing today. Top 10 anime fights of all time. Now before we even get this list started or anything like that, I just want to put out a disclaimer that one, this is just Pretty much the enemies I've seen only this this list is only the enemies I've seen. I only seen about like 21 enemies. So if there's an enemy that you guys seen that I hadn't seen that's not on this list, that's because of why. Even though it might have good fights and all that, I believe you. I just haven't seen the anime yet. So also comment down below any anime suggestions I should watch. And yeah, because I need a new anime to watch once I finish Bleach. So yeah, that's about it. Feel me? Let's get right into the video. Let's go. Alright, so before I get in right to number 10. I have two honorable mentions. So the first one goes technically number 12. So number 12 on this list we have Mario vs. Overhaul from My Hero Academia. If you guys never seen the anime, I suggest you check it out. It's a real good anime to get started. If you haven't seen anime yet, that's a good show to start anime off with. I mean, it's a good show. Personally, this is my favorite fight in the fourth season, the last thing that just happened. So the reason why I like this fight so much is pretty much just because, like, I don't want to spoil anything, but if you know what happened to Mario in that fight, you know what happens, right? And then he still continues to fight after that. That That's just super tough. I like that, bro. I kind of like that more than the Deku versus overall fight. Y'all might like Deku because, you know, I'm not going to spoil anything, but what he did in that joint. But, like, yeah, I really love that. I, look, I really love that fight and everything about that. I thought it was a really good fight. And you can guys see right down there, it, it, it looked really good. I mean, I liked it. It was emotional, inspirational, all that. I mean, it was a good fight. But... Let's get into the next honorable mention right now. Let's go. So coming in at number 11, our second and last honorable mention on this list, we have Meliodas versus Escanor from Seven Deadly Sins. Now I know most of you guys haven't seen the most recent season, season four, because it's not on Netflix yet. So not spoilers, even though I kind of did spoil that. I'm not gonna say that much about the fight. All I gotta say is this. It's a really good fight. It was really cool. You get to see some new stuff that you really see in Seven Deadly Sins. So there's some cool stuff in there that you and there's two Seven Deadly Sins fighting against each other. That's pretty much always gonna be the banger no matter what. So you guys, if you guys do watch Seven Deadly Sins, definitely wait till that season to come. It's gonna be a real fight. It's gonna be a really good fight that you guys are gonna enjoy. And if you haven't seen Seven Deadly Sins, I suggest that you get into that anime too. It's a good anime, got good plot, good bad story, good music, all that. So they're gonna like that too. But let's get right to number 10. Let's go. So before I get in number 10, I just want to say that this list is not in like a particular order from 10 to 1, but I would say the top 3 is definitely the top 3 in my list automatically. Those are definitely the top 3. So <clears throat> number 10, we have Black Bulls vs. Veto from Black Clover. Another great anime is new, it's part of the new generation, sort of the big three, I guess you could say. So this what I like about this fight, if you guys hadn't seen it, or you guys have seen it, you know like Asta, Vanessa, and Fenrir, and other Black Bull members, they teamed up against Veto, one of the guys from the I Have Been Nice Son, whatever, I think that's what it's called. But yeah, so what I like about that fight was just pretty much the teamwork that was involved, the animation, and then like pretty much what they was fighting, like who they was fighting against and all that. So, and the best part probably will probably be when Yami came, not gonna spoil anything, but if you've seen the fight, you know when Yami came and did that thing, that, that was probably crazy, yo. That's probably one of the toughest scenes in Black Clover alone. So, I really like that fight. Definitely deserves a spot on this list. It's probably my, like top three fights in Black Clover alone. Definitely my favorite fight in Black Clover. You know, there's a way, a lot of good fights in that joint. But, if you haven't seen it, check it out. Good anime and everything. Let's keep it going. Let's go right into number nine. Let's go. All right, so number nine, we have Naruto versus Sasuke from Naruto. This regular Naruto part one Naruto, not shipping in, not the final battle, none of that. So, the first time Naruto and Sasuke fought, this is like, in my personal opinion, top three best fights of Naruto, of all, like of all Naruto, definitely top three best, fight, best fights. So, the fight of what makes this fight tough is pretty much the build up between the fight. I mean, you guys kind of knew, if you've seen Naruto, you know, they're most likely gonna fight sooner or later. They had that little tease fight right before then, before Sasuke ran away, and then they had to hunt Sasuke down and everything like that. And it was just like, dang, is Naruto gonna be able to catch him and like rescue Sasuke, or whatever? And then it turns out Sasuke just didn't want to be rescued in the first place, and they had to fight at the final value for the final valley for the first time. Oh my god, yo, 
that fight was just amazing. And then I'm I'm pretty sure most of you've seen Naruto, but I'm just gonna spoil the ending. Naruto loses, which I did not expect. I really thought he's gonna actually bring Sasuke back, and Sasuke will be like a good no. He actually loses at the end, and that was probably the most craziest part with him. Like he finally he finally get to see the nine tails, all that. You guys can see the fight right there. That it was a great fight, good animation, good like music, all that. It was a great ass fight, really good fight. So yeah, if you guys, I'm pretty sure you guys seen it. So. You should just rewatch the fight. I recently just rewatched it again. It's such a good fight. But without further ado, let's move on to number eight. Let's go. All right. So coming in at number eight, we have Goku versus Frieza for the first time on planet Namek in Dragon Ball Z. I'm pretty sure most of you guys seen Dragon Ball Z too. Y'all already know about this fight. Y'all know how it is. Goku gets Super Saiyan for the first time. Freezer full power, planet blows up, everything like that. But what I really like about this fight, personally one of the best fights in Dragon Ball, like all Dragon Ball 2. What I like about this fight is it's pretty much like the tension like behind it, like especially when Freezer dealt about the five minutes, planets go blow up and everything like that. And then the planet actually does blow up after Goku defeats Frieza, and you don't think he's gonna survive or anything like that. It's a big ass cliffhanger and stuff like that. And what I also like about it is this. Before Goku even went Super Saiyan, it really like, I like that, I kind of like when before Goku went Super Saiyan, like that fight with him and Frieza at first, because that was really like, really, Goku really had to think, he had to use different strategies he never used before. Kyle Ken wasn't working, he tried a spirit bomb, like the first really big spirit bomb for the first time, we got to see that. Then when he goes Super Saiyan, that's pretty, it was really on one side after that. So, it was a good fight overall, you guys. I'm pretty sure most of you already seen it. You should just rewatch that too. It was also a good fight, even though I know it's like four hours long. But if you got time, watch the fight again. But yeah, let's go on to number seven. Let's go. So at number seven, we have everyone versus father from Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. I don't know if everyone's seen this, but you guys definitely should see this. You definitely should see this anime. It's a really good anime. It's one of my like top five favorite animes that I ever seen. So I really love this anime. I love everything about the fights, all that. So let me about this fight was really crazy. I mean, so what happens at first while well, spoiling? If you've seen the fight, you know that father he does what he, like he always wanted to do. He got that right. So then it's like. Everyone that you meet like throughout the whole time the whole time you're watching the show everyone teams up against this one dude Like good guys or bad guys. They all team against this one guy just to try to like beat him or whatever And it was a it was a hard battle. It was a long fought battle and all that and I'm not gonna spoil anything But you if you've seen it, you know that how the ending goes really like emotional intense ending It was, it was meaningful and it actually had like meaning behind it and all that so you guys definitely should check that fight out. You can still see right there. You can see what's going on and all that. If you like it, definitely check it out. It's a good anime to watch. It's only like 64 episodes. So it's not long or anything like that, like One Piece. So yeah, you guys should definitely check that out. But let's move right on to number six. Let's go. So at number six, we have Cora Pico versus Ujin from Hunter x Hunter. Now, in my personal opinion, this is definitely probably like top three fights of Hunter x Hunter. You got like, um, Gon vs. Soka, Netero vs. Miriam. But my personal favorite is Cora Pika vs. Ubergen. Even though I have a little bias because Cora Pika is my favorite character. But what I like about this fight is pretty much like, Ubergen is like probably the strongest, like physical strongest member of the team. And you go against Cora Pika and you hadn't seen Cora Pika like for a while if you, if you were watching the show. So like he comes back, he like, what is he gonna be able to do against this guy? This guy like this, you see, I'm not gonna spoil anything, but he's like beating everyone since before he pulled up. So like he pulls up, whatever, and then he, bro, Corey Pika, I'm just gonna say, Corey Pika destroys this dude, man. Like he was just playing with him the whole time. It was a great fight. You guys definitely should see it though. I'm sorry I kind of spoil it, but it's not really a major, major fight. It's this kind of, it's a fight to show like how Corey Pika grew since the last time you seen him and everything. But you guys should definitely check it out. It's a good fight. It, it showed a lot. You finally get to see Corey Pika like at his full power, I guess. And it was a really good fight. So you guys definitely should check it out. Definitely check out Hunter x Hunter overall. Is this a good fight or a good anime? So yeah, without further ado, let's go on to number six. Let's go. 
I think I said number six, but I actually meant number five. I thought about that. But number five, we have Ichigo versus Byakuya from Bleach. I'm currently watching Bleach, so I really don't like. I don't. I hadn't seen all the fights. I'm only like 70 episodes in, but like from what I've seen so far, Ichigo versus Renji and Ichigo versus Byakuya is probably the best two fights, and I like Byakuya because. Ichigo gets his, he unlocks the Bankai for the first time, which is crazy, alone as it is. And then also, it's pretty much like, Byakuya, he actually like, actually tries this time. Like, the whole time he, he's seen him before, he's not really trying. He's not showing his Bankai, none of that. So then you actually get to see both of them fight full power throughout the whole fight. And it was like, it's a really good fight, good animation, good music. And also, Ichigo goes in his like, I think like, I don't know, I hadn't seen it, but he like went in his hollow form or whatever, something like that. And with the mask and everything, he like for a split second, you actually got to see that for the first time. It's a good fight. You should check out Bleach. Also, that's a good anime. So I'm pretty sure most of you guys seen Bleach. It's a very popular anime. But yeah, definitely check that out. And pretty much that's it about that one. So let's go on to number four. Alright, so at number four we have Tandro versus Rui from Demon Slayer. Now no. Demon Slayer sort of a new anime, you're probably like, oh, he put that in his top 10. He's such like a, what's the word for it? Hikis? No. I forget the word for it. Is that it? I don't know. But, yeah, no. It's a really good fight. Other like Demon Slayer itself, I read the manga and everything. I'm way ahead in the manga. It's a really good anime. You guys should watch it when it comes back out next season. Or the next season, movie, whatever is coming out. Or you just read the manga like I'm doing. But, yeah, it's a really good anime, really good manga whatever but this fight particularly um what i like about it is not only just the animation but you fit the, you get to see pretty much i'm not gonna spoil if you haven't seen it i'm not gonna spoil anything but you get to see tanto use his new move and then you get to see nesico use her new move as well and this whole time they've been fighting this fighting this whole time they couldn't see to get an advantage on their opponent but then that happens and you know what happens after that and pretty much yeah so if you haven't seen this show at all definitely give it a watch it's because people say it's overhyped or whatever. No, it's not. It's, it's really a good anime and all that. So definitely check that out. Definitely, whenever you get to that part of the fight, or you've already seen Demon Slayer, just rewatch this fight. Or when you get to that, you'll understand what I'm talking about. It's a great fight. It deserves to be on this list. So without any more waiting, let's get in the top three. Let's go. All right, so at number three, we have to find the big three. Here we go. What can number three be? Most of you guys probably already know what it is, but number three we have Rock Lee versus Gara from Naruto. Now, I, all you, I'm pretty sure you guys seen this anime, or anime, this fight, whatever. You guys know how good this fight is. I'm pretty sure you all rewatched it multiple times. Obviously, you rewatched it too because how good the fight is. You got Rock Lee, a guy that doesn't use ninjutsu, genjutsu, only type. Just straight hands. Just tell me this all hands and kicks, yo. That, like that's all my bro knows how to do. And he goes against Gara, the guy that was like killing people, and it's all that. Everyone's scared of Gara. I was scared of Gara when I was a young boy watching this. Like, this boy, it was a monster. He literally was a monster. So like, it's like, damn, how is this guy gonna beat Gara? How is he even gonna be able to stand a chance against him? So then you, the whole time you're like, okay, you see him fighting. He's kind of hanging in there. And then my guy said, yo, bro, take off the weights. Take off the weights. He said, all right, drop the weights. Oh my god, yo. So the second he took off those weights, that's when um those weights, that's when we got like the real fight. That's when it really happened. So and then what else happened? He went, he opened the gates for the first time. We finally get to see the gates for the first time being opened. So he opens the gates against Gara and this goes basically destroys this dude, man. Destroys this man. He, but even then, Gara still like he still had more he was just still more stronger than him, so Gara still came out over top, but Rock Lee showed us that, like, yo, you don't need Ninjutsu and Genjutsu. You don't need the Shinigan and Rashengan to beat people. You can just beat them with straight hands and kicks if you really, like, believe in yourself. Train your body, train all that. So it was a meaningful fight. It was a great fight, emotional fight. Rock Lee didn't give up. Yeah, you actually got to see his real, like, skills and all that. So great fight. Definitely deserves to be top three on pretty much anyone's anime like top 10 list whatever it deserves to be on the top 10 for anime all the time this alone but no more waiting let's get in num numero dos so at number two uh, 
you guys can't tell, but it is really hot in this room. And it's summertime. I got this long sleeve on. I am dying. But at number two, we have Goku versus Vegeta from Dragon Ball Z Saiyan Saga. Because then you know they fight multiple times. So, Goku versus Vegeta. Definitely, probably, in my opinion, best fight of Dragon Ball. It's even better than Goku versus Freezer. Goku versus Vegeta is hands down probably the best fight in Dragon Ball. But what I like about this fight in particular is pretty much um, what happens. Oh, yeah. So, Sans arrived, Vegeta and Nappa, right? So they pull up. Goku's in other world. He's trying to get back in time. Vegeta and Nappa, well, Nappa really just killing off the Earthlings one by one. Yamcha, Chiaotsu, Tien, all of them. So then Goku finally comes, take care of Nappa from Rip. Then you get Goku and Vegeta fighting. And really, it was pretty much an even fight. And then Vegeta, we see Vegeta go great ape that you hadn't seen since pretty much Dragon Ball, other than Gohan going great ape that one time before then. But like, Vegeta going great ape versus Goku, it was a, that was even good. And then after that, you had pretty much uh, like Yanjiroji or uh, who else, who else was it? Krillin, Yanjirobe, and um, Gohan team up against Vegeta because Goku pretty much was done by then. So pretty much they team up, they was able to beat uh, Vegeta. You finally get to see the spirit bomb for the very first time, like the hand spirit bomb, not like the, you know. So you finally get to see that. You finally get to see like the probably most epic beam struggle of all anime with the Kamikamiha times Kaiken times four and the Gali Gun, all that. And it was a great fight. and. You, at the end of the day, Goku spared Vegeta, and now we got Vegeta now and Super teaming up with Goku. He's a good guy now. And that's why Vegeta is one of my favorite. He has the best character development in all Dragon Ball. He's my favorite character. I don't care. He might not get the spotlight all the time. He might get his ass kicked. This for Goku to kick the villain's ass after. But Vegeta is still my favorite because he always got his pride. He never gives up. And my bro stay training. So, yep. Let's get into number one. I know this video kind of been a little long. It seems like about 10 minutes. It feels like I've been in here for like 20 minutes already. But yeah, let's get into number one. Let's go. So at number one, we have finally reached the end. Can you guys guess what it is? I'm gonna give you guys like 10 seconds to guess what the, this anime or this fight is. At number one, we have the one and only Naruto versus Pain from Naruto Shippuden. You guys, if you see if you knew I seen Naruto, you should know this fight was coming up. So it's not. Really, I'm pretty sure you guys already seen it. So not much really to say about this fight. Pain comes into the Hidden Leaf Village, wrecks everything. No villain ever done like something like this before. Like I've never seen a villain done something like this before. And then. You're waiting for Naruto to come, who's like, he finally seen him training through Sage Mode this whole time. You're waiting to see what he's looked like after he mastered Sage Mode. He pulls up. Hands down, probably the best fight in Naruto. Debatably. I know you got like Sasuke and Itachi in other fights, but in my opinion, this is probably the best fight because this, not even this a fight alone, but the emotion and the meaning behind the fight the whole time. Because they're both with students of Jiraiya who Pain killed early on before then. So you have both Jiraiya students fighting against each other. You have Pain, the villain, actually fighting for like a valid reason. Like he's making sense for what he's doing. Like I, you actually understand why he's doing this, and you kind of like not support it, but like he kind of is right. He makes sense, little kid. So like that whole fight pretty much was this epic. You see Naruto transform into the foretell state. You get to see Minato, Naruto meet his father for the first time. And even after the fight, this is the conversation between him and Nagato when they talk and discuss how everything changed. And he actually was able to like change Nagato's like mind, heart, whatever. Like he actually was like able to convince him, like, alright, I understand, I believe in you, Naruto. Like, you feel me. So like great fight, great meaning, great everything, like throughout that whole thing. I'm about to just rewatch that right now. That's exactly what I'm about to do. So let me end this video right here. Hope you guys enjoyed this top 10. Comment down below what your top 10 will be. And I actually want to see, also recommend some more animes. Make sure you leave a like, make sure to subscribe, make sure to show some love, and always stay cool. So have a good day. Let's go.